Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. My name is Kirsten, I'm 26 years old, and I'm on a journey to pay off debt. And also, with this new year, I am interested in working towards a more minimal life. So, I am bringing you guys along with me to declutter, clean, be more, just have a more simple life. So if you're interested in following my journey of paying off a debt and also being more minimal when it comes to items in the house, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you want to see more. So today we have the first aid items. So this is going to involve anything first aid, medicine, anything like that we have. So I have one basket that stays in my room. And then I have another one that stays in our half bathroom that has mainly all the general items. The ones I keep in my room is mainly meds that I take on a daily basis. So if you did not know, I do have chronic migraine. So I am on quite a few medications for that. And I also take vitamins and birth control if you're interested in knowing. Um, so that is what you're going to see me do. First thing I'm going to do is sort through the items and also check the expiration dates. As a pharmacy technician, I like to, I guess, label my bottles when they're going to expire, if they're going to expire that year. So I will go through all of these. You'll probably see some bottles that already have a sticker on them. I just write the month, so if it's expiring in February, I'll put a two on a little label so that I know it's expiring this year in February. So I will be sorting through this and then once I'm done, I will follow up with how we did decluttering and organizing these baskets.
Okay guys, so this is where I am at. So these are the these are the labels I'm using just to mark the expiration. Um, I am a pharmacy technician, so, so I like to mark the expiration dates on the, the items that we have. Um, so these are, this is the stuff we're getting rid of. Um, that is like a travel thing my husband brought home. And then this is just stuff I need to sort back. Um, so Luna is in the basket. <laughs> She's sniffing something out, I guess. I don't know what you're doing. Um, but she smells something. All right. So yeah, so we had quite a bit that actually expired. And this is why I recommend going through these items. Many people do not. Sorry, guys, my phone just went off. Many people do not realize that the medications expire um, and, well, not even just expire, but that they go bad so fast. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure if you guys go through your medicine cabinet, basket, whatever it may be, you're going to find quite a bit. So like I had stuff that I just wanted to get rid of because we had duplicates or we just had some that were just super old. So I had had this athletic tape for like ever. I injured my shoulder like a couple years ago. So I was using that. Um, this was hydrocortisone. We have another tube and this is actually expiring next month. And then in the first aid kit, there was ibuprofen and the Tylenol in there. And these packets are expiring, I believe this month. Um, I'm going to hide that because that has my personal information on it. And <laughs> I'm going to work around my cat. This is just trash that I managed to get rid of. Um, these are my favorite sore throat, like cough drop type things to get. I ended up sharpening myself in the video. You'll see me kind of show you guys. I literally stabbed my finger with the Sharpie. So I'm going to have to try and get that off after. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are my favorite. If I have a sore throat or anything, I love these so much. They numb my throat and they taste better than a regular cough drop. So I highly recommend these, which these are expiring. So that's why we're getting rid of those. Um, Mucinex, we actually have a huge box of Mucinex and this one's expiring, so we're getting rid of that. And next we have Zyrtec D and this is just going bad. And then we have these uh, vitamins. My husband was taking these, but he would get nauseous with these ones. So I got him gummy vitamins and he seems to be doing better with that. So that is why we're just going to toss these. Next, we have this Claritin. It's just a generic version, um, and this is actually expiring. This is so, this spot on my finger is so annoying. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, next, we have all this stuff. So we had Aquaphor that actually expired in 2019, so that's trash. I get lidocaine ointment because I do have a hip injury, so I was using it there. And sometimes my shoulder, shoulders hurt because I have this weird joint issue. I don't know. Um, but I'm constantly in pain, so I have another tube, and this one's actually expiring. I don't use it very often because I have, like, ibuprofen and other pain medicine that I use, so that is why we're just getting rid of this one. And then we have this new box of Tylenol that expires in March. I'm going to see if my mom wants it first or my grandparents, see if they can use it up within that time, so we'll see. And then this is just like Robitussin that's expiring like when in August of last year so <laughs> that's going in the trash and then this brand new bottle of hydrogen peroxide I have no idea where I got this or when but that expired I think in 2019 and then just these things so my husband had like a toiletry thing that he brought home and had some hotel stuff and like this extra gauze that's now not sterile so I'm going to toss it um, and then all the stuff we're keeping. We have a crap load of brand, uh, we have a crap ton of band-aids. So I just bought these ones today because I got a horrible blister on the back of my foot and these ones work really good for blisters. So that's why I picked those up. And then I had these, I think I probably got them free at CVS before. So I grabbed those and then I've had these forever. So I'm probably gonna combine these into there just so they're all in one thing and then this is gonna go elsewhere this is just like toiletries for travel 
And we also have this knee brace. I hurt myself going down stairs before. Um, when I still lived with my mom, I went down the stairs wrong and I like sprained my knee. I have no idea, but I have that just in case. I have a pill case just in case because as you guys know, I have chronic migraines. So I am constantly taking medicine. And then, hi Luna. We have the first aid kit. This is just a standard first aid kit that I keep on hand. This tape my husband brought home with when he came home from the military. And then this is just all regular um, medicine that goes with the first aid kit. So we have um, NyQuil. Oh, we have two Benadryls, which I'm going to combine because they're actually expiring in the same month. And then Mucinex, more Claritin, thermometer. I'm probably going to invest into something better than this thermometer because it sucks. So <laughs> I might get a, a new one eventually. I have a pill cutter, um, this air shield. When Corona started, um, I was taking that. I do work in a pharmacy, as I've mentioned a couple of times already. So I'm constantly near sick people. And when I'm sick, I like taking this too, just to give my immune system a little boost. Um, and then we have Flonase, the lidocaine I was talking about, the other tube of hydrocortisone, Neosporin, um, this chest rub. Um, if one of us is sick and has like a cough or something, I like using that. Um, alcohol prep pads. So I do um, Amelvig for my migraines, which is a monthly injection, which I just do myself. So I have those on hand and then we have this emotion sickness relief. So when Matt was still in Missouri, I went and flew there to see him and I ran out of my nausea medicine. So when I was having migraines more frequently before I started Amovig, I take a nausea medication and I ran out like I was so sick that time I went. I don't know if it was from the travel, like the plane ride or what, but I had the worst migraine and I was so nauseous the whole time. It sucked. And so we picked some of this up just in case, but I ended up being okay. These are really good if you have a sore throat or a cough. They taste not bad. I can't stand cherry cough drops um, or like I can stand lemon, but I'm not big on, you know cherry stuff or like medicine flavored stuff Blech. Um, next we have for my girls <laughs> the azo um i love this stuff this is great if you have a uti if you're a guy watching sorry but um this is great and then ibuprofen we have a huge bottle this is my roommate's mainly because he's the one that mainly uses this because i get ibuprofen prescribed which is right here i have a bottle that is almost empty and um, a full bottle so that is taken on a daily basis but I'm going to move that away because it has my personal information on there and then we have vitamins so these are the vitamin gummies I'm using right now I love CVS's deals for the buy one get one free so I always get my vitamins there and um, this has my private information on there as well so I'm going to move that but yeah I get my vitamins for me and my husband at CVS so that's that and then we have all random other stuff. This is blister blocker. Um, this is great if I'm wearing shoes that I know will give me like a blister. So I just rub that. It's like a little deodorant stick and you just rub it on your feet where you may get blister. Um, we have, whoops. And then we have sumatriptan. That is what I take for my uh, migraines. I have this as an acute medication. And I also take Fearset as an acute medication. Um, then we have Senna. I just grabbed some from work. So I grabbed some from work and then we have my pain medicine um, and then Tylenol. This I bought when Corona like started and then everyone was buying all the Tylenol and ibuprofen possible. So I decided to grab that just in case. Saline nasal spray. It gets super dry in this apartment during the winter. So I like using that when I am dry <laughs> and then this icy hot i rarely use this i can't stand the smell of this so i don't use it often um and then we have my zofran as i was talking about i use this zofran um if i run out i just use the motion sickness which is also known like as dramamine anything like that so 
which it's basically meclizine. I'm not a doctor at all, so please, if you are looking to take something like that, if you have nausea, please talk to your doctor first. I cannot stress that enough. Always talk to your doctor first or a licensed pharmacist that can help you. I am only a pharmacy technician. I have no right to tell you guys what you can and cannot take, so please ask a professional before anything. Um, Docuset, so with the medication I take, TMI, I have that on hand just in case. Um, Simethicone, just in case, which I rarely use that, but you never know. Um, Antiacid, my husband brought some home, so we have two bottles, but we use it here and there. This is my favorite melatonin. I have these strawberry, like, dissolvable tablets, and I take five milligrams. I switch between Tylenol PM and actual melatonin, but these are my favorite. They taste so good. <laughs> So if you're interested in getting melatonin, get these. These are super good. And they're usually buy one, get one free. And then we have, again, for my ladies, this menstrual relief, the um, Midol. I love this stuff. I like it. It helps better than just taking an ibuprofen. So I like keeping that on hand when that time comes. And then we just have my birth control and my sharps container. I made my own sharps container. If you do injections, I highly recommend getting a proper sharps container, but I'm just using this for now because I just go um, bring it to a hospital near me. So that's what I did, and I decorated mine. I made it all cute and stuff and whatnot. So yeah, that is what we are working with. I still have quite a bit, um, so I'm going to try and combine a couple things like those band-aids and uh, maybe these open boxes like the menstrual stuff. So yeah. And then these are the baskets. So this is the one we keep underneath my roommate's sink. And then this is the one I keep in my room for our, all my daily needed medication. And then also the last thing I have is just my injection pouch here. So this in here, I keep a couple alcohol prep pads, band-aids, and gauze. So when I do my injection, I can just grab this and then do my injection and be on my merry way. Um, so I usually grab this and my traps container. So I'm going to organize it back all in these baskets and take you along with me. All right, let's go. My battery ended up dying on my camera, so I'm using my phone now. Hopefully, I was able to film majority of me putting the stuff back and organizing it. I'm still getting used to the camera, so I apologize. I'm probably going to go and buy more battery packs for the camera so that I don't have to worry about waiting for it to charge. So, this is the outcome. It looks so much better. We got rid of so much stuff, so... This is the one, as I mentioned, that goes in our half bathroom, and it looks so much better. Um, we could definitely downside the bandages and stuff like that, which eventually I will use them up with my injection and whatnot. Um, ibuprofen usually stays up top because this is the thing we mainly use. 
And then we also just have all those other medications just in case. I did combine some of the boxes. Um, and then we just put these other, like the creams on here that I don't really use in here. We have a couple medicine cups that I just want to keep just in case we get any liquid medication again. The liquid medication we had did expire. Um, I just put the cough drops here, thermometer here, the chest rub, stuff like that. But yeah, that is what it's looking like. Put the Flonase there. That is not mine. That's my roommate's, but um, I just put it there anyway so that he can get to it if he needs it. And then this is the basket for my room that I have with all my daily meds that I may need. So vitamins. These are my husband's extra vitamins. Um, my ibuprofen, other pain medicine for my migraines, um, nausea medicine, other random bits and bobs there, and then my injection stuff in the back. So yeah, that is what it's looking like. It looks so much better, less cluttered, and only the stuff we absolutely need and that is not expiring. So that is where we're at with that. This is all the stuff we are getting rid of. So I just want to make sure the information is not showing on that one. But yeah, so we got a lot that we are getting rid of. A lot of it's just boxes like I combined this and that. Um, and then all these other things are expiring. So I'm pretty happy that we got majority of this away. I will see if like any family members or friends wants some of the stuff that's still good. Like this is still good and that's still good. Um, and I believe these are still good. Yeah, they don't expire till the end of the month. So I'll see if anyone wants these items and like the athletic tape instead of throwing them out. But other than that, we got rid of quite a bit more so than I thought we would. So that is what the outcome was. I'm sorry this was a bit choppy with the video. Um, I'm still getting used to using an actual camera instead of my phone. And again, I'm working on the battery timing. So please bear with me. And also, again, leave me feedback. You, your guys' opinion means a lot to me because this content is for you guys. And I want you guys to let me know what you guys are looking for so I'm aware. And again, if you haven't already, please go hit that subscribe bar. And if you want to see more of these type of videos, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.